I've just dropped Arthur off. He's playing with Cathy and Heath all day. And Gabby's going to be with Maddie. She's got a new kitten. <laughs> Bring on Monday. This holiday's going on forever. Morning, Sandy. Dad, I was going to bring you a cup of tea. Is your wrist still playing up? Oh, uh, he's probably slept on it. Let me see. No, no, thank you. Pulling it about won't help. Well, let me get you a painkiller. That might help. Oh, such yeah. devotion. He'll be feeding you breakfast next. <laughs> you know, Dad, if his head fell off, he wouldn't say. <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah. You had your bath? Yes. And you've got your athletic support. Mm. So, V-Day. You are sure about this, aren't you? I know I might have put you under a bit of pressure. But... A bit? But it's your body. You have to be 100% committed. Even if that did mean that I'd have to think really seriously about our future. Is that a promise? It's still your decision. I know. Right. So... If something was to go wrong, and I'm not saying it will, but if the knife slips, it definitely wouldn't be my fault. Flipping heck! Do you want him jumping off the hospital table? Nico. See, you're blaming me already. I know what I'm doing, and I'm sure it's the best thing for both of us. Really? Yes. I had a word with Carl, and I told him he's got one of each. Kids, not, uh... And a tiny bit of pincer action is note to you pushing out another melon. Thanks, Carl. That's very understanding. I thought you were set for a double shift. You look ready for your bed again. Well, I'm on my way. You could always stop here, Dad. What, and do note? Well, there's plenty needs doing if you want to make yourself useful. Uh, yeah, drive me up a lift. <laughs> what is it, love? Indigestion doesn't last this long. Maybe them doctors have got it wrong. They don't know everything, do they? Oh, more likely your dad hadn't told them the whole story. Eh? Well, you know, when they go down that list of questions and ask, you know, what you have to eat, how much you've had to drink... What are you going on about now? Well, I just think it would be useful for you to go and make an appointment with Dr Abbott. No. She'd have more time for you than them hospital folk. She's dead nice to Samson, she is. Always gives him a sticky. Cos you're not right, love. And it's daft going on when you're tired all the time. It could be that. Sleeping sickness thingy where folk just drop like stones. No, no, I've got a doctor's. Look, oh, you're there. Right, I'll make an appointment. No, 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 I'll touch it. My desk, actually. <laughs> Sorry, just didn't think that you'd be coming in today. I'm getting all hot and clammy just looking at you. Yeah, I feel worse than I look. The way round. Right, you know why this is? It's sluggish immune system due to your unhealthy lifestyle. I am not sluggish, Nikhil. Mm. The vitamin C's cancelled out by all the alcohol you have. What do you mean, all? <coughs> I'm just concerned for you. We all are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't afford to take a day off, can I? Because charity isn't the only one with commitments and deadlines. I'm so snowed up, you would believe. So. I can cover for you. Watch this. Hello, Shabba and Shabba. Sounds better to speaking. <laughs> Hello, uh, yes, I'd like to speak to Miss Jennings, please. Jennings. Miss Anna Jennings. Yes, please. What? No, 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 I'd rather not. It's not for me, you see, it's for a friend. Yes. Thank you. Dreadful music. Got someone coming to look at the electrics tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. Oh, this soot gets everywhere. Yeah, well, it suits you. I'll tell you what, if you were one of those pregnant women that had cravings for coal... What? Well, we could get you in the garage. You could lick the walls. Oh, out. that is disgusting. <laughs> Actually, I do quite fancy a bit of char grilled chicken. Well, I tell you what. Why don't we finish early today? We'll pack your dad off to the pub and we'll have a nice night in. Okay, I'm sold. Cool. You might even get through the night without mentioning B A B Y. 
Well, the way I'm feeling right now, I would be delighted. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, you get Sarah sorted for an early night and I shall see what I can do. Hmm. You know there's a taxi outside? Oh, yeah, that'll be for me, yeah. Well, me and Chaz, actually, we're, we're just um, hitting the town to celebrate um, my promotion. She insisted. Uh, Dan, could you give her another shout, please? Chaz! That taxi will be running up a fortune! Megan Love, what are you drinking? Ooh, um, vodka slimline, please. Another slow day for you, is it? Do you actually do any work? Keeping tabs on me. I'm flattered. Yeah. Hey, uh... Oh, wow. Channeling the inner librarian. That's different. Right, well, I was thinking, um, you, me, that gorgeous little Italian place, you know, a bit of garlic bread, tiramisu. No, Chaz, no. We're going out. On the last for me, the pull for you. Yeah, still nine out of ten from the back. Hey. Oh, don't turn round. It's terrible what gravity can do. <sighs> Megan, can I interest you in a, an afternoon of reckless drinking? Uh. Well, save you from Carl's limited conversation skills. Who says I want him for his conversation? Yeah. Find your old mates to play with. Right, we're getting this cab of what? Megan, come on, you know you want to. You've invited Megan, have you? She's stopping with me. Right. Well, when you've all finished, I'll be in the cab. <laughs> Bye. What did you think you were doing? I wasn't going to say anything. So why were you ringing the social worker? Phoning for a friend. You sounded like a guilty teenager. She'd have known straight away it was you. I was merely hoping to canvass her opinion. About what? And which bit were you going to tell her? How you flooded the place? Nearly choked your own grandson? Uh, accidents. I deeply regret them. I'm sorry. What are you trying to do to me, Dad? I've told you before about making a fuss. You have no idea how these people work. You said yourself that we can't go on like this. I thought that maybe we could get some advice. We? I can give you advice. You know, when you're like this, you frighten me. You drive me to it! Bringing social workers here, embarrassing Laurel, are you trying to ruin me? Is that what you want? I never wanted to hurt Laurel. But you are! If you carry on like this, I could lose my job. My job! Don't you understand? I don't want that. I don't want that. I, 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 I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. So what are we doing with this, then? Take it away. I don't need it. This must never happen again. Mother's grave tide. Can't do much of anything. That's the God's honest truth. Lisa, well, she thinks I'm back on the sauce. <laughs> Going the same road as you. <laughs> I mean, you know what it's like, though. Either in them. Kids are always wanting. That doctor talking to me like I was some kind of half wit. Payback. That's what this is. Oh. I nearly busted his brain for God. But now I'm losing my mind. Oh. I can fix it though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll tidy this up. 
I'll get Sam and a bell to pick some new flowers. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. So, should I ask how it went? <sighs> Fine, actually. A few jabs of the needle to numb the feeling. And then there were this tugging sensation. Oh, let, let's just leave it at fine, shall we? Nick! Oh! Are you trying to kill me? It says a cold compress. Bob said he swore by him. Yeah, he loved it that much. He did the whole thing twice. Shouldn't you be in Scunthorpe? They cancelled. I can't talk to you with frozen veg on your lap. So, you usually do this, do you? Slope off in the middle of the day. When work can spare us, yeah, we like to have a little catch-up up with it. Generally in private. Oh, well, I'm honoured then. Come on, let's go and get table. She really likes you. <laughs> I'm glad you're here anyway, though. <laughs> She's on a mission to hook me up with a fella. Chaz! Come on. Trying to impress us by flashing the cash, yeah? Oh, you're going to be miserable all day. Just see her as a gift horse, why can't you? Yeah. I mean, we shouldn't look the rancid old nag in the gob, should we? Charity, she's a laugh. Anyway, when I hear that, we're here for you. So take a good look around, kid. Men everywhere. <gasps> oh, right, look at him. Now, he's got nice firm thighs. He's not even sucking in his stomach. Right, can we please try and make this a bit less like a meat market? I do not believe you. Oh, look at her, the sly little madam. <laughs> and here it is. Oh, what was that? Char grilled chicken, baby. Your wish is my command. Oh, well, not too much for me, thanks. What? You were craving this earlier? Yeah, but I didn't know you were going to have a big fat blowout on it, did I? But you're going to have something, yeah? Well, I can't. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Sarah want any? No. She's not feeling well either. Brilliant. OK, right. Tell you what, remind me to phone before next time, eh? <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm just stressed out about the doctors tomorrow. Fair enough. This one... Why don't you go up, have a bath? I'll bring you some chocolates up or something. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know, a bit more work at the garage, I suppose. Try and work that lot off. I do not deserve you being so nice to me. Around here. Don't worry about it. We'll just sit here like turnips while you chat with your lover boy. It is Chaz who's supposed to be copying off, you know that. Well, you stopped telling the whole flipping bar. I felt like a tranny on a first night out. Oh, um, charity, Chaz. This is Pete, Greg, and Luke. Chaz. Yeah, short for Chaz Titty, not Charles. <laughs> right, okay. Glad we cleared that up. So, boys, are you going to help us celebrate Charity's new job? Oh, congratulations. What line are you in? Chocolate. Yeah, I I'm a sales exec for a rather high-end confectionery firm. Did you do those really hard caramel ones? Sorry? Good for Ammo. The ex-wife's weapon of choice. Well, ignore him. His divorce papers have just come through. That's why we're here. No way! Well, hey, that is something definitely worth drinking to, is it not? She says, having recently tied the knot. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a very low-key, casual affair. Anyway, enough about me. Megan here, you won't believe this, right? She's only gone and shacked up with her own brother. <laughs> For business reasons. <laughs> oh, cosy. Hang on a minute, Charity. Didn't you used to live with your cousin? Almost married him, didn't you? And you've got a kid with him. Or was that your nephew? I get so confused. <laughs> well, you just feel free to join in any time, babe. Because I am ready to strangle her. Um, Ashley, yeah. if he's not right by tomorrow, I think we should take him to see the doctor. No. Yeah, but his wrist is getting worse. It's not just that. You were right yesterday. Um, 
Dad and I did have words. Things are still difficult. I think we've been kidding ourselves. What do you mean? I know he's doing his best to muzzle along, but he's struggling. He's bad-tempered, impatient, short with me. Yeah, but we can do with that. I know. I should be more understanding. And if Dad was all I had to worry about, but there's work and the kids, I hate it when I snap at them. And... Well, what are you suggesting? I mean, obviously a home is the safest place, but I, he absolutely hated the idea of that, so... I don't have a miracle solution. Sometimes I just need to offload. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Q, take that and keep the change, thank you. Oh. So you're going to give me the uh, grand torch, yes? Uh, yeah, yeah, in a bit. I'm just going to get these empty. Great. Why did you have to ask him back? Because we were actually having a laugh until you started whinging about having some headache. I have. What is up with you? Are you competing with Diane for Sprinter of the Year award? Prize one, five cats and a slang kit. Come on. Oh, I'm just going to come and find you. You, uh, you here in a sec, then? Yes. Sorry for being so useless. Um, I might go for a quick pint. Yeah, okay. I'll see you in a bit. Not been asked back by a before. It's usually a brew in the kitchen, checking for the side mm. Ah, sorry, Pet. Barrel's gone. I'll do it. Don't you dare. It's your night off. You stay and chat to your friend. Is it just me, or was this a bad idea? Look, it's... It's fine. It's, it's your job. It's bound to stress you out. I was just looking to save a few bob on the bevies, that's all. It's fine. Honestly, like you said, I just needed to, you know, relax. But there, bing! <laughs> Bar this whole place burning down, you have my undivided attention. Oh, there you are, love. You sit down, I'll warm your tea up for you. How was it, then? Hmm? Doctors? Did you even go? Yeah, I said I would. Well, what did she say? Hmm? Well, they didn't just look at you and you know, stick a needle in you, that. <laughs> you had a blood test? Yeah, that's what they do, isn't it? Well, what does she think it is? Well, nothing yet. I mean, got to go back tomorrow. Tomorrow? You get the blood results in a day? Yeah. They must be rushing it through, then, with little Sarah. It were weeks. Oh, I don't flame in, no. I went, didn't I? He's still mothering on! Zack! I wish I'd never bothered now. Same again, please, Diane, and I'll have a very, very large one. Luke seems like a sweetie. Yeah, as long as he's totally, definitely, and certifiably single. Cheers. That for my benefit, is it? What? You and him. Uh, strangely enough, the world does not revolve around you. Don't do anything you regret. You haven't got a right to tell me anything. He's not who you want. You don't know what I want. You've got your cosy little life, haven't you? So blissfully happy that it makes me want to throw up. Why are you denying it? Whatever you've got in your head, it's wrong. Cheers. Why are you doing this? I can't stand seeing you, I feel. Well, I don't care what you can stand, because nothing is going to happen with us. Nothing can ever happen. So I can just do what I damn well want. Dad? Oh, I thought you were upstairs. Avoiding me now. This has got to stop. Yes. I'm not sure what it is I've done. And I don't think you know either. 
It's everything. Pressures you wouldn't understand. But you're right. Something's got to give, Dad. And it's you. What do you mean? I can't have you here. It's no longer workable. You can't send me away. Laura wouldn't allow it. Then you have to persuade her. What? Convince her it's what you want. But it isn't. Think about other people for once. You assume you can live here as your God-given right, but what about me? What about me? What about what I want? This is my home. It used to be. Now, you'd prefer to be among people your own age, have staff on hand at your beck and call. No. Say what you like, Dad. As long as Laurel believes you. Please, Dad, you have to. It's the only way. In his most personal case to date, the newly retired DCS battles to save a young man from the executioner's noose. Foyle's war is at eight. Well, he had a catchphrase for just about everything, didn't he? The unforgettable Dick Emery is coming up.